In this session, we will talk about simple fault finding. To get the most out of the session, I recommend that you have your remote control and your video system in front of you so you can practice as you follow this presentation. Also, I encourage you to download and print the remote control quick reference guide from the resource center at videochampion.com. This guide will help you identify the main buttons I will refer to in this session. Troubleshooting tips. Always think simple first. Does the video system have electricity? Are all the cables properly connected? Have you recently moved the video system? Are the screen and the codec turned on? Does the remote control have batteries? What type of software is currently installed on the codec? If the answers to these questions don't solve your problems, restart the system. To do this, access the control panel by pushing the menu key on your remote control. At the bottom of the screen, select Restart and push OK. If your problems still persist, is your ISDN or IP network functioning correctly? In most cases, if something is wrong with your network, an error message will be displayed on the startup page. To correct this, please refer to the user manual that came with your system. Audio. If you cannot hear the people on the other side, or they cannot hear you, take the following actions. First, make sure the volume is turned up. If the volume is turned all the way down, an icon indicating the volume is turned off is displayed on your screen. Second, make sure the microphone is turned on. An icon in the top right-hand corner of the screen will notify you when your microphone is turned off. Finally, make sure the microphone is not turned off at the far end. When this occurs, a message will appear at the top of your screen indicating that the microphone on the far end is turned off. If you are hearing an echo, in most cases it is the system on the far end causing the problem. When this occurs, give the participants at the far end the following advice. Talk for approximately five seconds so the echo control function finds its parameters. Make sure they have placed the microphone one and a half to two meters or four to six feet away from the video system but close enough to the people who are talking. You can always ask the people at the far end to turn down their volume. Finally, check to see if the echo control function on your end as well as theirs is turned on. To do this, access the control panel by selecting the menu key on your remote control. Then choose administrator settings, audio echo control, and make sure the echo control is set to on plus NR and not just on. Picture. When there is no picture, make sure the screen is turned on and the participants at the far end have selected main camera as their primary video source. If this doesn't solve the problem, ask the participants at the far end to press the blue presentation button on the remote control. Finally, ask the far end to make sure all of their cables are properly connected between their system and the camera. When you cannot see a picture of yourself, first make sure the screen is turned on. Next, press the self view button on your remote control to test if the main camera is working. If you are still not seeing a picture, check to make sure you are not transmitting any other video streams other than the main camera. To do this, press the blue presentation button on the remote control. You can also access the main menu, choose presentation, and confirm that the main camera is selected as the main video source. Finally, make sure all of the cables are properly connected to the camera. If the picture is out of focus, too bright or too dark, the following steps should solve the problem. If the picture is out of focus, press the zoom button on your remote control or try gently moving the camera. This will activate the autofocus function. If the picture is too bright or too dark, you can adjust the brightness and light settings in the camera control, picture control menus. To access these, press the menu key on your remote control. 
if the video system does not automatically activate when you pick up the remote control, make sure the screen and system are turned on. Next, make sure all of the cables are properly connected from the endpoint to the camera. Also, you may want to try replacing the batteries in the remote control. Finally, make sure there is a green light on the front of the camera. Duo video streams. If you can't send two video streams at the same time, for example, if you cannot see both the speaker and the PC presentation, your first step is to make sure you have the presenter option installed on your system. Next, make sure the secondary video source, for example your PC, is properly connected to the endpoint. Finally, check and make sure the system is set to dual monitor support in the main menu. To do this, select the menu key on your remote control, choose presentation and select duo video. The diagnostic menu. To help you with fault finding, please consult the diagnostics menu by pressing the menu button on your remote control. Select control panel followed by diagnostics. This menu includes system information, network status, detailed call status, system self-test and administrator settings. If the problems persist, before you contact your internal IT resources, Tamburg Technical Support or your Tamburg partner, please make sure you have the following information at hand. The type of system you need help with, the serial number on the codec, and the date or approximate time the system last functioned properly. The system information and serial number can be found on a sticker on the back of the system or under system information in the main menu. Also, there may be a problem with a network, in which case you should contact your local network provider. Thank you for attending today's session, Simple Fault Finding. To learn more, please view our other sessions at videochampion.com or enroll in one of our classes. A complete list of Tamburg University courses can be found at tamburg.learn.com. Thank you.